In the U.S., tick season usually peaks between May and July and then again in the fall. But it's April and the creatures are already out. They are hungry, so they are looking for their first meal of the year, and they do pose that risk of transmitting infection. Dr. Bobby Pritt with Mayo Clinic says you can help prevent tick bites. Check your body often, especially after being outdoors. Wear long sleeves and pants and tuck those pants into socks, giving ticks less skin they can bite and make sure to wear bug spray. Usually we look for tick repellents that have at least 30% DEET, but there are other chemicals, picaridin, that are is a very good repellent. If you do get bitten, Pritt says to not panic. Remove the tick as quickly as possible. The best way to do that is with tweezers that you can use close to the skin as close as possible, grasp the head of the tick as it's going into the skin and just pull it out in a slow, continuous motion, taking care to not squeeze the tick or breaking off the mouth parts if you can help it. Fritz says if you live in an area where Lyme disease is present and find a swollen tick attached to your skin, consider seeing a doctor, especially if it's been attached for 36 hours or more. Your doctor can prescribe antibiotics to prevent Lyme disease. And be aware of the symptoms of Lyme disease including fever, body aches and pains, upset stomach, severe headache and fatigue. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither.